Hey YouTube, it's me, I Addiction, and wow, it's been a pretty long time since I've said that, and I gotta say, it feels pretty good. Um, was gonna get into a whole video about just kind of life and this and that, and you know what? I just decided I'm just gonna start making videos again, and I'm gonna leave it at that. So when they come, they come, and I'm very excited today because it is, of course, September 21st, 2012, and the iPhone 5 was announced and launched today. Well, it was announced a week ago, but it actually was shipped today. As you can see, I do have my iPhone 5 here from FedEx. It is actually a Verizon iPhone 5. I was on AT&T, but am no longer. Well, I will be no longer after I call them up to cancel. Have a key here. We're just going to unbox this for you guys live and uh, show you what's inside of the box. I may be a little rusty when it comes to unboxings because it's been so long since I've done one of these. But as we can see inside of here, this might be a little bit different because I'm actually a totally brand new customer to Verizon. But there is a rubber band booklet that says getting started. Everything you need to know is starting is here. Activation guide, customer receipt, and SIM card. So there will be some SIM cards and whatnot in here. I'm not going to open this because it's going to have my personal details inside of here, but they do give this to you if you're a brand new Verizon customer, which I am. I don't know if this would be in everybody's or not, but this is, of course, the getting started guide from Verizon. And that's what the back looks like. I guess I could show you inside of here. Oh, I guess it doesn't have the SIM cards, which I thought it would because it said SIM card. So I thought that was odd. But anyways, that would be the Verizon Getting Started Guide. And then in here we have another, oddly enough, this is a master shipment list with Verizon. It'll have some information on there with uh, order numbers and mobile phone numbers and things like that. And then another Getting Started Guide, again, there would be customer information in here, so I'm not going to show you that. So that's interesting because it said I had two of those. So what do you think is actually inside of here? Well, of course, we have the black iPhone 5, but also we have the white iPhone 5. There is a piece of crap that we don't need. Get rid of this. The box is now officially empty, so we can throw that aside and the rubber band we don't need either. So yes, we have the iPhone 5 in white and black. One is gonna be for me, and one is gonna be for Karen. Of course, I'm gonna take the black one, and she's gonna have the white one. She actually wanted a black one, but I didn't know that until after ordering it, and I thought having the same phone would be kind of difficult. But I want to unbox both of these live for you, so with some quick iMovie magic, we'll be back, and I'll show you the unboxing of the black iPhone 5. All right, and here we go. So we have the box, and on this side it says iPhone 5 in black. You can see a black Apple logo. Again, iPhone 5, black Apple logo. There's some information down here that you guys don't need to see, but you can see this is the 16 gigabyte version. I was thinking about going bigger, but I, uh, I didn't ever actually fill my iPhone before, so we are gonna rip the plastic off of here, and we are gonna get inside of this. that aside and we will lift this up in real time. This lifts up much easier than most iPhones I've ever seen. And this is the iPhone but we are going to save the best for last so I'm going to set that aside. Inside of here we have the usual hard plastic that you can put your iPhone into. I uh, don't need that. This is the design by Apple and California guide. Inside of here usually has some quick tips and Apple stickers. Now this is a little bit different. This normally folds open but this is actually a pouch, so that's a little bit cool. That's kind of neat that they have that in there. Inside of here we have the Hello Quick Start Guide with some information about the iPhone. We have the iPhone information and, of course, Apple stickers. So we will add those to my collection of Apple stickers. And I'm going to set that back in there just because right now we don't need that. And then inside of here, as you can see, we have the triple pack. We have the new earbuds, the Apple charger, and then the new docked connector, which, wow, that is much smaller than I thought it would be. This looks pretty big, but let me open this up for you guys because this really does, that is really small compared to what it was. This, of course, is the same USB charger. It's not faster speeds, but to be honest, I wasn't expecting them to be, and most computers, most people don't have 
USB 3.0 to be honest. It's still somewhat new. But this, look at the size of it next to my pinky and that can give you an idea of how small this is. That's really, really small comparatively to the two. That is really, really neat. So, and the cool thing about it is you can go either way. So that would be the data charger. Again, we have the actual USB to wall adapter and this is the earbuds, which we will do. I will get into these a little bit later. So I'm just gonna set this back into here, set this aside, and then of course we have what everybody waited for, the actual iPhone 5. I have to say, I love the side of this being dark. I wasn't sure how I was gonna feel about that at first. Let me peel off the side. And the front. But I really do. That is super, super shiny. And the back is actually a metal, which I am a huge fan of because I, to be honest, I love the original design of the original iPhone. But this feels so light in my hand. And that's, let's turn it on for the first time. Power button is of course at the top. No more um, headphone jack button at the top, which again, I'm happy about because there's the original Apple logo. If it was raining, it's not going to get up here. It's going to be at the bottom. There's the speakers and everything at the bottom with the new dock connector. It really does feel light. And I got to say, in my hand, I really want to actually rock this naked. I don't want to actually wear it with uh, a case, but we'll see what, how I feel later on about that. That usually changes as time goes on. But I really, really do like the way this looks. And then as you can see, this has the iPhone 5. If I slide this, I want to do it in English. United States. It's going to ask me to connect to a network. So I will do my network. Let me type my password in really quickly. That screen looks awesome, by the way. Again, this isn't the easiest thing to actually show on a video, but I will click Next. It may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. I'll enable location services. I'll set up as a new iPhone. Sign in with Apple ID. My email address is iaddiction at me.com. Feels very fluent typing in this larger screen because it's the exact same diameter. Doesn't, it doesn't get wider, it got longer, so it's very easy to type on this. It's like typing on any iPhone you've ever typed on, which is nice. I like the idea. Yes, wider would have been a little bit better, but this is, a ne this is the next best thing. And again, it's going to take a few minutes. I do want to use iCloud. I'm not going to do this with the other one, just because you only got to see this once. I'll back up using iCloud, and then after that, it should pop right on. Find my iPhone, yes. Use Siri, and I do not like to send diagnostic stuff just because I don't want to waste my 3G, to be honest, or 4G now. Click Start Using Phone. At the moment, it says no service. I don't know if there's something else that I have to do, but this is it. This is the new iPhone. Again, if I bring it a little bit closer, and there, no, I thought it switched over to Verizon. Um, you can see they did add, phone is activated, so now we're up and running, and this should make, make live calls. So, we are up and running. I'm gonna turn this off. Again, this is the back, which this is a, this is metal. So I really like that feeling. This is the side, the bottom, the top, and then the front. Super, super, super excited about this. This is, this feels awesome in my hand. I held it at Best Buy today at work, but with it having the protection and everything, you didn't really get to feel it in your hand. So I gotta say, this is definitely uh, definitely something that I've been very excited about. And next up with iMovie Magic will be the white iPhone.
All right, and now here we have the white iPhone 5. This is the iPhone 5 in kind of a silverish color. Silverish as we're used to. Again, silver. And then in the back, there is some information here you don't need to read, but again, it's 16 gigabyte. Let's start opening this up. Oops. My nails, I just bit them the other day, so it's one of my habits I'm trying to cut back on. It wants to be a little bit more particular about actually breaking open, so let's see if I can get this one to... If I had a key, there we go. Again, I'm going to rip this open. This will be my fiance's iPhone, so she's very excited to be back to an actual smartphone. Right now she's rocking in a, uh, a Flight 2 for AT&T. Again, this is going to be a Verizon iPhone. And like I said, I'm, I'm not going to go over everything inside of here because it is the same, but this bezel is silver, silver and the back is actually like a white silver. I'm going to take these stickers off so I can actually feel it properly. Again, that is silver. It's like um, almost like the original iPhone. So that looks really, really nice. And then we'll peel this off. I am going to turn it on just to get the process started, but I'm not going to walk through it with you guys. Um, bottom is the same, has the new dock connector, side the same, this side looks good. The edges are super, super shiny and I like again on the top that the fact that you don't have that headphone jack and again it feels, feels really, really light and really good in your hand. Um, one thing I did grab just to show you guys, the difference between the dock connector sizes, not that this is small or big by any means, but look at the difference in the actual size. Like it's it's a fraction of the size. It's almost the same thickness as the cable originally was. I mean that's just, it's amazing how small this is. So I just thought I'd like to show that to you because I thought you guys would you'd find that interesting. And again, it will walk you through the original one, but inside the box, I'm just going to set, I'll lift this up first. Set that down there. Has a white version of this instead of black. Still has that same kind of thing there with all the same information. And then you have your AirPods, your new power supply, and your same lightning cable. Just to have a comparison between these, there is the black iPhone 5 and the white iPhone 5. They are right next to each other. I will turn them both on. Uh, of course, this one's still on the start screen, but I did want to show you a comparison to the iPhone 4S. Now, a better compar comparison will, of course, be the black with black. Size-wise, it is definitely a little bit thinner, as you can see. But length-wise, it's not a huge difference in length. Now, just to make sure they're the same, it, I mean, it's probably an in you know half an inch or so bigger a couple centimeters bigger width is the exact same but because it doesn't bow out like this it feels a lot thinner than it probably really is but definitely uh definitely a difference in the weight this is definitely heavier my iphone 5 4s is in pristine condition it actually has a zag shield on right now and this will be going on ebay probably tonight or tomorrow so I will be selling this to help pay my cancellation fee with AT&T. So you can see this does say AT&T. Um, but I figure if I'm going to get a little bit of the money back and still be able to get the new phone and have, in my opinion, better service when I leave Rochester, then that's not necessarily a bad thing. If you want to see the differences between the 4S and the 5 from white and black versus that's that. So again, those are the iPhones. Thank you for watching. Don't expect a video every day or anything like that, but I am going to try to make more as time goes on. So with that, with one last thing, I'm just going to leave Siri to ask her a simple question because I saw this on the internet. I thought this was pretty cool. It'd be a good way to try it out. Who is Steve Jobs? Thanks for asking about Steve. Here's Apple's webpage about him. And there's a link to go to Steve Jobs' memorial. So... 
super fast. It is on Wi-Fi, so there's just tons of information always going to be flowing on here. I don't know if you've ever seen this or not, but this is Steve Jobs Memorial on Apple.com. Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, this is iAddiction, signing out.